All right, what is up everybody today? It's gonna to be a very quick chatty video with you guys. So I've actually filmed this already, but it's been two days and I have a bit more understanding about what I wanna say. Uh, I'm gonna refilm this and uh, we're gonna just chat about it. I want you guys to drop some comments. I wanna hear your feedback if you've been doing this and um, how's it affected you. So, all right, so let's jump right into this. There's a bunch of reasons why I tried this and why I think it's a good thing. So. It's been seven days since I started the cold showers and it's been seven days since I started the breathing. However, I have skipped two of the days of the breathing exercises just because of time. Um, but the showers I have been doing every day, some days even twice a day. So the cold shower is supposed to promote all kinds of health benefits, which you can read about below on uh, Wim Hof's website. Now, I started it purely by chance, I was actually on YouTube just scrolling and I found another guy's video where he was saying he's gonna do 10 days of cold showers and see how it affects him. And then randomly after watching that one, it's obviously sending me through to everybody else's videos. So I found the Wim Hof breathing technique and then his um, way of promoting cold showers. Just to go over the breathing technique really quickly, you're basically hyperventilating, you're breathing in and out quite quickly for 30 breaths then breathing out completely, then holding your breath for 30 seconds, then doing it again, then holding your breath for a minute, and then again, half, one and a half minutes. What it actually supposed to be doing is oxidizing your blood, which is, it makes you feel really good once you're done. And um, you're supposed to be able to train a bit better. But for me, um, oh, this is a long story. Also, let me, before I carry on, I actually really enjoy challenges. So I've actually been doing intermittent fasting as well for like a year and a half already, and I'm pretty consistent. I don't really break fast until 2 p.m. I stop eating about 8 p.m., 9 p.m. at night, depending on when we had dinner. Let's start there. I like challenges. So when I saw the cold shower thing, I thought, hey, let me give it a spin. We used to actually end our like training sessions by showering normal and then putting on cold water because we knew the cold is good for uh, recovering your muscles, but we didn't really like get into it. So we used to do it anyway, but I thought, let me do a proper try and uh, see how it affects me. I have a issue where I'm always getting very low points in my day. So my, my energy levels dip super hard and we always thought it was sugar, which it probably is sugar as well and carbs, but from what I can tell is even if I eat nothing, like I fast or two, I'll still have a low point in the morning. So the the problem with me was I, I was a bit worried that it wasn't the sugar. Like obviously sugar is still bad, but I don't think that's why I was feeling crap. We were at Michelle's mom's place and she tested my sugar and it was perfect. And then uh, she tested my pulse and oxygen and she said my oxygen was low and I didn't think about it at all. And then uh, carried on with life. And then when I saw that video about the, the cold showers and how it's supposed to like, like increase your oxygen intake because you kind of like gasp when the cold water hits you besides for the like cooling benefits of the cold water it makes you gasp and you take in a lot of oxygen which makes you feel really good and then i thought maybe the problem is i'm not breathing properly so i'm not taking in proper breaths and um, maybe my oxygen level is actually low and that's why i hit the low point because the other thing that happens is if I work really hard, so if I wake up in the morning and I shoot all day, even if I don't eat the whole day, I'm perfect. I feel really good when I get home, I'm still awake, I feel great. And then on the other hand, I will not work that day. I'm, I get up and I start editing and because I'm chilling, I, I hit these low points the whole morning. I, I'm yawning and I'm like, like my head goes cloudy and I haven't eaten anything. So now my thought is maybe when I'm chilling, my resting state. I'm breathing incorrectly. I'm not taking in proper breaths and then I'm my mind's getting cloudy and I'm losing oxygen in my blood. It's a thought. I'm not a doctor. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just explaining to you guys what I've been doing. Then that video came up. Then I thought, hey, cost me nothing. Put on the cold shower and then shower for 30 seconds once I'm done cleaning myself and see how it does. And the first day, horrible experience, super cold, crazy gasping, 30 seconds felt for like forever. But I did it, and then after that shower, I felt awesome. Then I did the breathing technique, felt awesome. Then I thought, okay, let's keep this up. So every day I've been ending my showers with 30 seconds of cold. I basically shower, and then when I'm done, I put my phone timer on 30 seconds, and I push it, and I just stick it out for 30 seconds. And then uh, the next day, the 30 seconds, and then after the third day, I, after the third time I went off, I just stayed in for a bit longer. Then when I get out, I saw it was a minute. So then the next day I put it on a minute timer and then I, when it hit a minute, I stayed longer. So that was the fourth day. Fifth day I did a minute and a half. And then uh, sixth day I did two minutes. And then today is the seventh day. And this is why I'm refilming it again, is I didn't even have warm water. I literally put the water on uh, cold, 
put the I didn't put a timer I put a stopwatch so I put the cold water full on no warm nothing pushed the stopwatch got in the shower basically did my whole shower cleaned myself and then I hung out in there for a bit and when I got out I checked the time it's five minutes so I did five minutes in pure cold water no heat at all and I was fine you still do the little bit of gasping in the beginning but as you as you go through the days from when you start you can totally notice that you gasping but not like you did it like you can you do your little breathing technique while you're in there and it, it it's fine i was i'm fine i could probably stay in there longer but i mean you can only wash yourself so much before before you're just wasting time i think because it's still summer in south africa the water in the pipes is still warmer and it's it's okay it's cold but it's it's fine i think when winter hits this is going to be way more difficult and i might have to put a little bit of warm water just so it doesn't murder and destroy my life but um, in general, I was actually very impressed today that I got in straight cold, showered finished, got out, felt awesome. And now I feel hot again because I've been out the shower for a while. The other thing I've been noticing is I usually get pretty hot. I always feel a bit uncomfortable and hot. And um, last night I was super hot. Michelle was chilling there with a blanket. I had the fan on. So I don't know if me showering cold is making my body feel warmer when I'm not, obviously when I'm not cold. So we'll see how that goes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to update you guys every week. So I was actually going to do that video the other day where I stopped on a minute. And then I thought today, let me refilm this and talk to you guys about two minutes. Because then from now I'm going to do cold showers only this whole week. So I'll do seven days of cold showers. And then in seven days from now, I'll do another video like this. And I'll chat to you guys about how that's been. And and we'll see, we'll see how I feel. From what I can tell, I do feel... Like I feel nicer right after the shower and I feel nice after the breathing. But I still get the low point in the afternoon. So what I've been trying to do is when I start feeling a bit, uh, I get in the cold shower. So another backstory on me, I used to teach breakdancing and it, I was actually quite physical. And I had the same issue where I was actually training at a, at a dance studio and the, there was a ballroom dancer there. And then while I was busy, when I finished, he said to me, he doesn't hear me breathing while I'm busy. So when I'm exerting myself, it's almost like I'm like I'm holding my breath, which is not good. So I'm not like breathing while I'm training. This was years ago, but I thought about it now. And maybe that was an issue even back then, that I wasn't breathing correctly while I'm exerting myself. And then the other thing I, I used to see is if I'm training, like while I'm training, I'm fine. If I'm gymming or if I'm dancing, I'm fine. The minute I sit down and play with my phone for five minutes and then I'm tired like it's almost like because I'm I stop and I'm chilling and I'm in like a resting state my breathing is slower and then I'm then I'm exhausted and then I don't want to train anymore like my my like drive goes away so I don't know if me concentrating on breathing is going to increase this am I going to feel better throughout the day am I going to just take in more oxygen during the day and I'm going to feel better I don't know the the cold shower is actually very addictive it's, it's like a challenge you want to do it and see how long you can cope see how your body copes so I might actually do it more and then maybe I'll jump in the pool in the middle of the day. See if I can cool myself down two times a day at least. And just see, see how I feel. So this has been a very random rambling episode. But I wanted to get this out. I wanted to hear from you guys. Especially people who are doing this regularly. How long you've been doing it. How does it make you feel. Um, do you have more scientific information on why it's good. And why, why I feel better doing it. Do you think I have an oxygen issue? Um, the main thing we thought it was, was insulin resistance, which it could still be. My mom and my sister both have insulin resistance. They've been tested and um, we just assumed I have it. So the same thing would happen. What I used to do is we used to like, so I used to teach a dance class for like two hours and then I was fine. And then I would eat something, whether it was a, a snack or a sandwich or an apple. And then we would go from the dance studio and drive to the gymnasium where we did tumbling. And then by the time I get there, I'm so tired that I have to like wait an hour or two and then I start feeling better. I've also seen at home, if I come home from all day shooting, then we eat, then I hit, hit the super low. And if I can just manage to keep going for two hours, then I hit this like super awake like point where I, where I work really well. So that's why I've seen I work really well from like 10 p.m. to like two in the morning because I'm, I feel super awake. I actually do think it might be the breathing thing because it all boils down to when I'm chilling and when I'm resting all the time. If I'm at a family function, we have dinner, then I feel like crap. And I think it's because I'm chilling. I'm like, I'm not breathing properly when I'm resting. Please let me know your thoughts. This has been very random and you probably 
if you're still here, thank you, and you're probably interested. If you haven't heard of Wim Hof, he's like a, they call him the Iceman. He has very many world records for all kinds of stuff. The main one being, I think he stayed in the bath for like an almost two hours, an ice bath. That's the world record for an ice bath. And he promotes like intense cold for your immune system. And I don't know much about him. I'm very new. I just wanted to put this video out there saying, this is what I'm doing. This is how I feel. And then in seven days, we'll touch base again. I'll tell you how much I feel better. Does it feel the same? Does it feel like it's doing nothing? But I'd like to know. I'd like to hear from you guys. Come onto my personal Instagram. It's called callmerob underscore underscore underscore. Or, uh, or go to my photography one. Just DM me. Tell me this is what you've been doing. This is how you feel. This is what I think is going on with you. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. And then um, I've put a link in the description towards Wim Hof's channel. There's even a like guided meditation breathing exercise so you can just listen to it and he'll tell you when to breathe out in out hold it whatever that's how i do it because otherwise i've got to sit there and count and keep track so i try to just listen to him and then do it through the video takes about 11 minutes the whole video is 11 minutes so much quicker than i thought it was i was actually holding my breath longer than i was supposed to so in his video it shows you like it's a quick breathing it's not a slow breathing and uh yeah go watch all his videos he's quite an inspiring looking dude this this could all be placebo i could be doing the cold showers and then uh thinking i feel better but either way i feel better so we'll see we'll see how it goes in the next seven days and then i'll touch base with you later drop a comment let me know i know there's not a lot of subscribers here but let me know in the comments what you think and uh let's chat let's make um let's make figuring out why i feel tired all the time a thing anyway thank you for watching please drop me a like please uh, hit me a subscription and click that little bell thing. It all helps towards the YouTube algorithm. I'd love to get this channel monetized. My other one is monetized. If you want to see my actual YouTube channel, it is over there with uh, like behind the scenes and camera talk and tutorial stuff. And all of that stuff is on the main channel. That one's monetized. I'd love to get this one monetized, but uh, it's not a big deal if it takes a while. So I want to welcome you all to the, to the Rob show and um, I'll see you guys later. Sorry if this was very random. But I wanted to do it, get it out there. More uh, behind the scenes, fun travel gear related stuff coming up soon.